Welcome back for this penultimate battle of round one in Matcha Madness. That's right, we've made it to battle number 15 of round one. Very exciting. Tomorrow we will finish off round one and then move into round two. Very exciting stuff. Today we have two offerings from Breakaway Matcha. Both super high-end, ultra-premium matchas. Right now, Break My Matcha offers 12 different options, so you can kind of break them up into three different sections. You got the four that are the cheaper, four that are in the middle, and then the four that are at the highest end of the tier. And these two offerings today come from that highest end of the tier. Today we have Blend SE going up against Riku. Now Riku may sound familiar to you if you watch the introduction to matcha, and that is because of Senno Riku, the Japanese matcha master who is largely responsible for codifying the Chanoyu or Japanese tea ceremony. This matcha is named in his memory. Very excited to get these super high premium grade matchas brewed up and give them a taste side by side. See you back here when that's ready. beautiful emerald rich deep green matchas ready. They both were kicking up quite complex aromas as I was aerating them so let's get in for a closer smell and see what we can pick up. First the SE, kind of just like greens, stewed green salad or cooked green salad there we go. You got like cooked zucchini, cooked spinach, cooked peas, just a lot of deep rich green smells. Try the Riku, much lighter, the slightest like Sawdust? Oh, the uh, big strong um, cooked zucchini on that one. Buttered cooked zucchini. Yeah, we just had zucchini with dinner last night and it just, my mind flashed back to that. All right, now let's give them a taste. Start with the SC. Cheers. Just smooth and creamy. Wow. Super, super, super smooth. No bitterness, no astringency, just the slightest hint of baking spices, chlorophyll. Just general greenness. Yeah, very, very good. Not that I expected anything less from these ultra high-end offerings. Try the Riku now. Ooh, I think I already know which one's gonna win. Yeah, this is like a gentle vegetable broth, like a nice vegetable base for a soup. Very rich, deep, just ridiculously smooth. Go try the SE again one more time, just to be sure. Yeah, yep, gonna have to go to the Riku. Now, again, this is, obviously one has to come out the winner in this battle, but you'd be supremely happy with either offering. But as we're looking for the ultimate matcha, that can only be one. So SC, you've been taken out of this battle, which makes our bracket now look something like this. And I can tell you a little bit more about Blend SE. As I mentioned, this is of course from Breakaway Matcha. The 30 gram container size comes in at $149 for a price per gram of $4.97. Uh, this is the Uji Midori cultivar. That's coming, of course, from Uji. The description is quite long and it reads as follows off of the Breakaway Matcha website. We've unearthed a dreamy and rare matcha that sets a new record for extreme quality. It's made in a valley in Uji that's been producing great matcha for at least 400 years. If you ever want to know what pure umami tastes like, look no further. The finish can rev on for several minutes, leaving you to wonder how an aroma and texture can linger for so long. Pure electric green color with aromas that exude fresh chocolate. From a family-run co-op obsessed with providing the highest expression of the purest matcha they can manage to coax out of the ground. Matcha of this quality requires the time-tested Hanzu method of cultivation and harvest. The ancient canopy made with bamboo poles, reeds, hemp string, and straw to filter out sunlight. In the Ogura area, there is a large pond where thick reeds grow. Every leaf is coddled in ways that only obsessive Japanese matcha farmers can dream up from first bud to ground matcha. The varietal is Uji Midori. One of the best ways to enjoy a matcha of this quality is to prepare and drink it with generous proportions of matcha in the thick or koi style. It is an experience like nothing else in terms of texture, taste, and subsequent awareness states. 
The matcha is the deepest and most vibrant shade of green with a heavy dose of umami. Pure umami. Has never tasted this good. Try making a 5 gram bowl and sharing it with a few others, bound to make an outstanding impression. Obviously in this battle we're brewing everything with the 1 gram to 60 milliliter option, but yeah, it's just it's kind of that pure umami, like they said, and so creamy, oh my goodness. Still, didn't quite manage to make it into round two. For that, we will see Riku in round two, and I will see you tomorrow for our final round one battle. See you then.